So there was a couple of major deaths today in the world of entertainment. Pro wrestling legend Sid Justice died at 63. And we also had the death of Sven Goran Eriksson, former England boss who died at age 76 after a long illness. Now these deaths connect and they both connect to 9-11, which is crazy today because I did a code for the Yankees to beat the Nationals and we know the Yankees play in New York and the Nationals play in Washington. Obviously places heavily connected to 9-11. Now who was, who was Sid Justice? Sidney Raymond Judy was an American professional wrestler he was best known for his tenures in the World Wrestling Federation and World Championship Wrestling under the names Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, and Psycho Sid. So his birth name is Sidney Raymond Udy. And Sidney Raymond Udy equals 85. And he retired from professional wrestling in 2017 on 8-5. Another big 85 is that Israel was attacked by Hamas with 85 days left in the year. So there's a lot of war riddles right now, Revelation, 9-11 riddles. Sid Yudi, the pro wrestling legend, who was known as Sid Justice, Sid Vicious and Psycho Sid, has died after a battle with cancer. His son announced on social media. He was 63. Gunnar Yudi... Sid's son made the post on Facebook about his father. So it's another father and son ritual taking place, which have been very prevalent recently, which I've covered. Things like LeBron James and Bronny, father and the son, but there's so many that I've covered. So Gunnar, interesting name, went on to say, I'm deeply saddened to share that my father, Sid Udy, has passed away after battling cancer several years. Gunnar wrote, he was a man of strength, kindness and love and his presence will be greatly missed. Now we know that Jesus Christ was a man of strength, kindness and love. Okay? And like I said, the father and the son connection. And it's wild to me that Sid's son is called Gunnar. Okay? A gunner is a gunman. Why Arsenal have been doing so well recently, the Gunners. Now, Sid Justice was in a tag team, pretty successful, called the Skyscrapers. The Skyscrapers were a professional wrestling tag team in World Championship Wrestling in 1989 and 1990 in three distinct forms. Three. World War III is around the corner. With members Big Sid Vicious, Dangerous Dan Spivey, and Mean Matt Callis who went on to become The Undertaker, who would often say, rest in peace. With the mass skyscraper making a one-night appearance. Now, the Twin Towers were 110 feet skyscrapers, and Sid Justice was in the tag team, the skyscrapers, and they came down on 9-11, which led to USA invading Afghanistan, which was known as the War on Terror. Now, guys, it gets crazy. There was a tag team in the WWF called the Twin Towers. The Twin Towers. And look at this. Did WWE predict 9-11? Hulk Hogan in seriously spooky video from 1980s. All right, so basically, this is what happened. The video features wrestlers Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage pledging that the Twin Towers will come crumbling down. You can find this on YouTube. And they were talking about this tag team. But it's always deeper than you think. When the clip begins, the Twin Towers, Akeem and the Big Boss Man, are being interviewed by Mean Gene Oakland. During an earlier show, the Boss Man handcuffed and threatened Randy Savage's wife and manager Miss Elizabeth. Makes me think about Queen Elizabeth, who I always code. So Gene asked them about it, and their ongoing feud with Hogan and Savage, who were dubbed the Mega Powers. He asked them, are you going to continue your terrorist attacks on the Mega Powers and the defenseless Elizabeth? Okay. 
that's that's very very strange isn't it mean gene then interviews hogan and savage saying they've got one goal in mind to defeat or should i say demolish the twin towers again look Look how it's conspiracy theorists maintain that New York's Twin Towers were deliberately demolished by another mega power, the USA. So it's all conspiracy, isn't it? But the mega powers are saying they're going to tear down the Twin Towers. Like, honestly, what are the chances? And then look, Randy Savage tells Mean Gene about the cold steel of Miss Elizabeth's handcuffs. And... You've got the steel that connects to the skyscrapers, to the Twin Towers. So look, the Daily Star saying it's a jarring coincidence. It's not. It's not. And now look, guys, Sid Justice, who was in the tag team, the skyscrapers. I've told you the Twin Towers were skyscrapers. Sid Justice died 254 days after his birthday. And 9-11 was on the 254th day of 2001. And Miss Elizabeth was involved, okay, in this segment with the Twin Towers. And Queen Elizabeth was born with 254 days left in the year. Now, Sid Justice died on a day leaving 127 days left in the year. And buildings 1, 2, and 7 of the World Trade Center came down on 9-11, now we have the death of Sven Goran Eriksson. All right, he was a Swedish football player and manager. After playing a career as a right back, Eriksson went on to experience major success in club management between 1977 and 2001. All right, 2001, the year of 9/11. Flight 77 was involved with 9/11. Then after 2001, he went on to coach international football. So he won 18 trophies with a variety of league clubs in Sweden, Portugal, and Italy. Former England boss Sven Goran Eriksson has died. Swede was England's first foreign head coach and led the country to the 2002 and 2006 World Cups and Euro 2004. Eriksson also coached Benfica, Roma, okay, the home of the Vatican, Fiorentina, Sampdoria, Lazio. Manchester City and Leicester, among others. Former England boss Sven Goran Eriksson has died at the age of 76 following a long illness. The Swede became the first foreign manager of the England men's football team in 2001, coaching the so called golden generation, guys. You've got to look into the seven golden candlesticks in the Bible. Okay, obviously the word Sven looks a lot like seven. All right. No wonder he made number seven, David Beckham, his captain. And this golden generation had David Beckham, Steven Gerrard, Wayne Rooney, and Frank Lampard, but they won nothing. But Eriksson led England to an iconic 5-1 victory away to Germany in 2001, 10 days after 9-11. And number 10, Michael Owen, scored a hat-trick. But the team suffered painful quarterfinal exits at three major tournaments during his reign. So the three tournaments where he coached them, they got knocked out in the last eight, like 38. And Ezekiel 38 is about the final war, Armageddon, that precedes the second coming of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So Sven died on the same day that Sid Justice died. Remember, justice belongs to the Lord. And both connect to 9-11 and they both die with 127 days left in the year. And as I mentioned, buildings 1, 2 and 7 of the World Trade Center came down on 9-11. So Sven died at age 76. 7 times 6 equals 42. And the beast of Revelation reigns for 42 months. 42 months is 3 years and 6 days. Now Sven was born on 2-5 and the beast of Revelation has permission to take out 25% of the earth through the four horsemen. And Sven was born on the 36th day of 1948, the same year that Israel declared its independence, and they're currently at war. He was also born the same year as King Charles, okay, and obviously Sven coached for England. 
Injury match here, World War equals 42, and War equals 42. Now, Sven's most talked about moment of his career was when he guided England to a 5-1 win versus Germany in Bavaria, and the Illuminati were founded in Bavaria on 5-1. What are the chances? And like I said, that game was 10 days before 9-11. And it was also on the anniversary of World War II beginning. Because it was on September the 1st, 2001. 10 days before 9-11 and number 10, Michael Owen scores a hat-trick. Revelation 5-1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. Seven. And Sven, obviously Sven is one letter away from the word seven. He was the coach that made David Beckham England's captain. All right? And he was the captain throughout the reign, like the beast reigns, throughout the reign of Ericsson. David Beckham obviously made his name with the Red Devils. And did you know this, that Osama bin Laden, who we told was responsible for 9-11, he died on David Beckham's 36th birthday. 666, six, the 36 triangular number. The Beast of Revelation reigns for three years and six months. Sid Justice won six heavyweight championships. Six times six equals 36. Everything's connected. I've done this long enough now. And Beckham made his England debut on 9-1-1996, exactly five years before England beat Germany, 5-1. And he debuted for England at age 21, and he was the captain for six years. And six times six times six equals 216. Now, Sven was born a span of 14 weeks and two days before Israel declared its independence. And 9-11 lasted one hour and 42 minutes. So, I haven't done a video like this in a while. But I was guided to do this today. The death of Sid Justice, Sven Garn Eriksson, they connect to 9-11, they connect to Revelation, they connect to the royal family, they connect to everything that I talk about and all the books that I've written. So please like, share and subscribe and God bless you all. God wins.